Hey guys, uh, what's up? Oh god, let's let's not look at my room. Let's not do that. I'll just turn the camera this way and pretend that I live in a luxurious room because what you just saw was the complete opposite. Uh, hi everyone, I am Chandler Keys and welcome to my channel. For those of you who don't know, I have my main YouTube channel which is called Chandler Knows Best, feel free to check that out. I'll put the link in the description below. And this is my second channel where I talk more about technology and coding and how to do that or why you should. And today's video is going to be explaining what Java is, what it's used for, and why I personally think that it should be one of the first programming languages that you learn. I wanted to point out that there's a million programming languages, there's so many. Not literally a million, I don't know about all that, but there is plenty of programming languages and they each have different purposes or are used for different things. There's different reasons why they are used and um, Java is the one that I have been learning a lot lately and I just wanted to give you a little talk on that. So Java is used for a variety of things. It is used to build Android apps. It is built with Google's Android API. Java is also used to build web applications. Do not get web applications confused with websites. They're both kind of the same and then kind of not. Most websites are built with front-end languages like HTML, CSS, JavaScript. Web applications are more of what controls user interaction, I guess. They allow the user to perform actions, like user input on a website. I did see this thing on Stack Overflow that explained it quite well, and I will read that to you. Okay. Charlie says, a web application is a software program which a user accesses over an internal network or via the internet through a web browser. An example of one is the most widely used web, uh, the most widely used web applications is Google Docs. Um, I know Gmail is one as well, um, which facilitates most of the capabilities of Microsoft Word. It's free and easy to use from any location. A website, on the other hand, is a collection of documents that are accessed via the internet through a web browser. Websites can also contain web applications, which allow visitors to complete online tasks such as search, view, buy, checkout, and pay. So it's almost like web applications are like the doing aspect of it. Boom. I also wanted to point out that Java is used everywhere. It's used on over 1 billion desktops and 3 million mobile devices. Blu-ray players do run Java as well. It's also used in games, car navigation systems, and medical devices. At this point, it's just like, why, why shouldn't you learn this language? Let me give you a couple of reasons why I think you should. Well, number one, Java developers make like 80 grand a year, so there's that. But hey, it's not about the money, guys. Or is it? A personal reason for me is that it is easier to pick up other languages if you learn Java. And I think it is almost like that for not every backend language, but uh, most, because most of them are object oriented. So if you know one, it's gonna be easier to pick up on the other. So eh, you don't have to learn Java first, but I think it is great to start off with. Not only because of that, but I think that if you wanna learn front end, um, one of the most popular front end languages is obviously JavaScript and JavaScript derived from Java, except JavaScript is more of a simplified version, so it would be easier to learn that as well. But I do know that it is much more easier to learn C Sharp, which is uh, a programming language that I believe was created by Microsoft. And I took an intro to C Sharp course, and I also did some paired programming with a C Sharp developer, and we did like an easy program or whatever together, and it is basically the same thing as Java from what I've seen, except there's a couple of syntax differences. For those of you who don't know what syntax is, it's basically what you type in. I mean, it's like the words. They do the same functions, but the way certain keywords are typed is different. By the way, if you were a little confused on Java, or if you don't really know anything about it, um, I will put some links in the description that can break those down for you and give you an overview on what to expect from Java, what it does, why it should be used. I mean, I can explain this to you all day, but if you want to see different perspectives on it, click those links because they can help you in the end. I really do think that you should do your research before you try to devote your time and day into learning a language. A third reason is just the simple fact that Java is not going anywhere. Personally, this is my personal opinion, you don't have to agree with me, but when I want to learn something, um, I want it when I want to learn something and have a career in something, I want it to be something that's going to be used for a long time. I don't want to learn something that's outdated, and that's not going to happen to Java anytime soon. In fact, there will be, and there is right now, plenty of job opportunities for Java developers, and it is growing 100%. My last point to you guys, and this is probably one of the most important ones, I learned it today actually in my Java bootcamp. Um, coding will be required in most fields within like 10 years from now. And that is very mind-blowing to me. Like, imagine trying to be a nurse or something and they require you to know how to code. It's going to be required one day because it's growing 100%. Technology is starting to run everything. A lot of things are...
technology is basically doing a lot of things for us and uh, one way to stay connected to that is knowing how to code because that's kind of the roots to everything in my opinion so yeah there's that I'm sorry for looking like this honestly um, in the Java boot camp and like I'm tired I didn't even do anything I'm tired I literally just finished my first week and I already look like I went through hell and back. I'm definitely trying my best though. I am overachieving right now. I'm hoping that this motivation and this uh, hard work that I'm doing for this first three days, I'm hoping it lasts. Um, I hate to be that one person that starts off strong and then gradually you get unmotivated and you lose your confidence. I don't want that to happen, but um, I'm going to try to stay as motivated as I can. And I'm hoping this YouTube channel helps me do that as well. But yeah, thank you for watching. That's what Java is and um, that's why I think you should learn it. That's why I'm learning it, those reasons. Um, I'm not an expert and I'm learning, and for those of you who want to learn, stick with me because we can learn together. This is the end of my video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will hopefully see you guys within a few days or so. I'm trying to upload as much as I can. And that is it for today. Bye, guys.